Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today in this quick little video, I'm just gonna do a simple range test. We're just gonna send it out over the water here. Now I just wanna point out that I live in Canada. So in Canada, we can fly our mini drones beyond visual line of sight, as long as we do it in a safe manner. And I will be sending it out over the water at a fairly low altitude. So if something does happen, you know, it's just gonna safely drop in the water. I'm not flying over boats or people or anything like that. I like to promote safe drone flying on my channel, but as mentioned in Canada, we can fly these beyond visual line of sight. Most likely in your country, you can't. So make sure you understand the laws and the regulations in your area before you attempt anything like that. Now, there is a bit of a breeze today, so that could factor in how far we can get out and back safely. I'm not gonna push it too far because I don't wanna lose my drone. We're just going to go out until the drone tells us we need to come back and then we're just going to come on back. So with all that said, let's get the drone up and uh, we'll see how the range and the signal strength is with the Mini 4 Pro. Okay, so we got everything set there. We've got the screen recording so I can show you the telemetry and uh, I'm just going to put it up a little bit right now. Just get it out over the water and uh, yeah, so let's head out. We will see what kind of range we get. Now, this could be a little bit boring because we're just flying over water and um, yeah, there's not a lot to see. So I probably will cut out a lot of this video and I'm also going to enable cruise control. There we go. Just so I don't have to hold the, uh, the control stick there. So we are flying at 12 meters per second and uh, we'll keep it in normal mode just to preserve battery power. Now, I'm not going to push it too far I guess you could say I'm not gonna wait till we're you know down to the last little bit of battery to come back um, I'll probably even come home before it tells me to it's just to get a rough idea of what the range is gonna be like uh, we're just out over 600 meters now and of course we still have four bars so everything looks good there shouldn't be a lot of interference there is some Wi-Fi around me but um, you know we should get a fairly good distance and uh, the wind is, I'm not sure which way the wind is blowing. It's not overly windy today. There is a breeze. Of course, there's always a wind coming off the lake. But uh, yeah, so we'll uh, make sure we factor that in before we head home. So as you can see there, we've just crossed over one kilometer. We're just at 1,100 meters, 1,200 meters now. So far, so good. We still have a full five bars. And uh, we're not very high up. I kind of took off from a bit of a cliff. You can see there that we're at 9.8 meters. Maybe I'll just raise the altitude a little bit. So we are coming up to 2,000 meters, so two kilometers out. Again, oh, as you can see there, we just dropped one bar. Uh, maybe we'll raise the altitude a little bit. And we're back up to a full five bars. Kind of seems to be bouncing around there a little bit. We have 90% battery, so we're still good for battery power. And if we click on the battery, it's saying that it's going to wait for another 20, 21 minutes before it comes home. So we should be good. And yeah, there's not a lot to see out there. It's kind of an overcast day. So as mentioned, I will cut a lot of this out. So we're just a little over three kilometers out and we have 86% battery and there was a bird that just flew in front of us. That was a little concerning. Um, hopefully they don't get any closer. Uh, maybe I'll go up a little higher because I know there are some seagulls out there. So I'm pretty happy with the Mini 4 Pro. I love all the new Pro features that they've added. Uh, the cruise control is really useful. Waypoint missions. Uh, you can see there uh, we just dropped in signal strength. Uh, maybe we'll put it up a little higher. We're up at 59 meters, 64 meters. And uh, we're back up to four bars, five bars there now. I guess it uh, will bounce around a little bit. Sometimes you just have to kind of push through it. We'll give it a little more altitude. And uh, we just crossed over four kilometers. And uh, so far, so good. 
But yeah, uh, all the features that they've added to the Mini 4 Pro, the omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, cruise control, waypoint missions, and uh, that new tracking feature is really nice. I think a lot of people are going to be really happy with this drone. And uh, the image quality, it's not a lot different than the Mini 3 Pro. The Mini 3 Pro could capture some really nice footage, and uh, so can the uh, Mini 4 Pro. So it's if you need to fly a Mini drone, you know, now it's amazing that we can fly drones that have this type of capability but still remain under 250 grams uh, you know that's pretty incredible and you can see there it's going to tell me to return to home soon in three minutes I guess it's uh, calculating how much power it needs to get back so that's a little disappointing it's saying that we still have over 30 minutes of flight time but uh, you know but I think it calculates wind in there as well, so. But not bad, you can see we're out, uh, we just hit five kilometers there. And there we go, it's uh, telling me to return to home. So I am going to listen to what it says and come on home. home. You can see we're coming back in sport mode at eight meters, seven meters per second. So there is some wind that it is fighting and um, we should be okay. There should be a little bit of battery when we get back. But uh, yeah, that was a little surprising that it asked me to uh, return to home so quickly with that much power. Um, I don't even feel like it's that windy out today. So, but maybe out there, out over the water, it's a little windier. So we're not gonna take any chances. So we made it to just over 5,000 meters, so five kilometers. And right now we are still 3,300 meters away. And uh, according to the battery gauge, we should still be good. So slowly but surely, the drone is making its way back to us. Uh, we're just about 1,200 meters out. And uh, you can see the virtual home point there. And I'll take control of it manually once we get a little bit closer. I still have it in cruise control right now. And I can probably lower the altitude down a little bit. We're down to 36% power. And uh, yeah, so we should be good. Now, this is a good example. You know, when it told me to come home, I thought I had plenty of power out there. You know, I was at over 70% or around 70%. So it just goes to show you that when it tells you to come home if you're out flying and you're a fair distance out, always listen to it you know don't always just go with your instinct that oh I've got plenty of power because you can see we're still a fair distance out and uh, you know we're down to 33 percent and what happens right near the end once you start getting really low the drone loses power and uh, you know sometimes it's hard to maintain your altitude so yeah don't push your drone too far if you ever decide to go out any kind of distance so here we go here we are coming in I'm going to cancel the cruise control and uh, we'll just bring the drone in I'm just flying from that trailer right there right off the coast so we still have 24% so that's not too bad and there we go so yeah 24% on the battery still so we could have pushed it a little further uh, we could have maybe gone out another 500 meters, but, uh, you know, we had good uh, signal strength there, so there was no issues. Uh, if the battery would have lasted longer, maybe perhaps if it wasn't so windy out there, you know, we could have pushed it to 7 kilometers. Well, folks, just a quick little range test for you with the Mini 4 Pro. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.